Hello Finksters, I hope you're doing great. Uh, today I'd like to show you a very simple cryptographic algorithm called Caesar Cipher. Caesar Cipher will serve us as a simple demonstration of how a cryptographic algorithm works and it will also introduce a few basic terms in cryptography like uh, plain text, uh, cipher text and uh, a key. Caesar Cipher is a bidirectional algorithm meaning that it both performs uh, encryption and decryption of a content. And now that I've laid out uh, these introductory words, uh, let's uh, start with uh, how it works. Uh, here in the beginning I've defined Caesar Cipher as a Python function. It accepts a few arguments. Uh, first of all is a message. This can be a message that we will encrypt or decrypt based on this operation uh, which defaults to encrypt so if you don't put anything when when invoking the function you will just uh, get the default operation and that's uh, that's encryption and also the default key is set to 3 here we perform a basic check and if our operation is not encrypt or decrypt, we will just return the message as it originally was. I'm converting this operation content to lower in case uh, uh, someone set the operation as uh, all caps encrypt or decrypt or whatever. We will just uh, make it easier to compare by, by having all the letters uh, put to, to the lower case. In the next step, we will construct our alphabet of symbols, which contains all the symbols of English alphabet, all digits, a space symbol, an exclamation point, question mark, and a dot. Then we will set the encryption or decryption key, and here we, here we will do one important thing. Since key can be bigger than the length of our alphabet, we will convert this key to not exceed the length of our alphabet. So if, uh, if we would invoke our uh, function with a key of uh, set to value 1000 and our alphabet is only I think uh, 60 something, let's say it's 60, the key would uh, would be far larger than the length of our alphabet and in this way we will just adjust the length of our key to to the alphabet so if our uh, if our key is 1000 we would make it uh, smaller by having this done in the next step we just make a simple initialization of of the store for uh, our encrypted or decrypted message or in general terms here we will store uh, the message after it has been processed by by uh, the selected operation this one here okay and now we will process each symbol in the message uh, having uh, in our mind the operation and the alphabet that was set when invoking the function. This is a simple step just for each symbol in the message. We will uh, set this uh, variable or object to, to minus one. It will never be minus one uh, when the algorithm runs. So this will serve just as, a, as an error indicator if an error occurs. In the next step, we will take into consideration only the symbols in the alphabet that can be processed. Meaning, if our uh, original message contains a symbol that is not defined in this alphabet, we will not be able to encrypt it or decrypt it and uh, the algorithm will just leave it as it is. So, for each symbol in alphabet, our symbol index. Now we will. Uh, now we are trying to find out uh, what is the index of each symbol in in our message, comparing to the alphabet. So if our uh, message 
is starting with a letter F we will find that the index of this symbol is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and this operation will set this variable symbol index to 5 and now for the actual operation if the operation is set to encrypt so we're doing an encryption a shifted index will take this uh, symbol index which was 5 just a moment ago it will add a key to it and if our key is uh, let me see 55 55 plus 6 will make 61 okay so our encrypted symbol will be the original symbol six to, uh, shifted sorry shifted by 61 in the other hand if our operation is decrypt uh, this symbol index will be shifted uh, to the left side here we handle possible overstepping meaning that if for instance if our uh, message contains the last symbol in the alphabet and we add a certain amount defined by the key and actually overstep for instance if we were here and our key was 3 it would overstep and actually what we're doing we're taking it from uh, this symbol plus 1 plus 2 and it would finally get translated to C because that's the point symbol plus three symbols okay and the same goes in the other direction if if I'm uh, talking about this part here if we are for instance somewhere in here and our key is larger than this position let me count 0 1 2 3 4 and if our key is for instance 6 then the algorithm would uh, translate this symbol to the following one we're here 1 minus 1 actually minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 and minus 6 our symbol would get translated backwards it would overstep the lower uh, boundary of our alphabet and actually it would skip all the way from the end and go around here just imagine like our alphabet is circular we're doing the same procedure for each symbol and once we translate our uh, symbol index we are actually just calculating uh, a shifted index variable and now that we did it we will just go to our alphabet and read from the shifted index position what is the symbol that we got that we calculated we will append this symbol to our translated string so that's our object of uh, of symbols translated so far and the the algorithm will go into next iteration it will check for the next symbol in our original message sorry for that and uh, if a symbol is not found in the alphabet it will just get appended to, to the translated symbol so it will be left as it is in the end when the algorithm finishes it will just return the translated string and in our case as always I put uh, this string as an example things the rules with an exclamation point that's this original message it was translated or encrypted as you can see right here uh, by scissor cipher algorithm to ciphertext ciphertext was then printed out right here and then we took this ciphertext fed it into our uh, 
uh, Caesar cipher function with the same key it has to be the same key to be able to decrypt something the key is the essence of the algorithm we also set the operation to decrypt and the result was saved as plain text object uh, bear in mind that if our algorithm didn't work correctly or if we mismatched the key uh, our plain text would be different from the original message and that would mean that we didn't succeed in uh, decrypting uh, the ciphertext message however we did we got the same message actually this is the original message in the beginning here is in its in encrypted form and here it's in its uh, decrypted form and you can see that this is the same thing so our algorithm works correctly and we managed to show how this simple version of encryption algorithm works that's about it on the Caesar cipher algorithm of course as always uh, you have the article you can check read it and uh, get more familiar with some background on Caesar cipher also with some simple introductory on uh, cryptography and uh, on this topic that's about it have a nice day i'm looking forward to our next topic and until next time bye